Welcome to Keeping In Sync with Microsoft 365 for this week, the 19th of June. Starting off as with every week, a reminder that dates may change and certain settings may be turned off or forced upon you, either by Microsoft or by your IT. So uh, let's not uh, let's not send in the mercenaries if that happens. Now, starting off with custom list templates in SharePoint slash lists. Now, while there have been a number of list templates available for a while now, um, now organizations can actually create custom templates and make them available to everyone. You'll actually now see a from your organization session uh, section when you create a new list. And most likely it'll be empty. So if, um, if there's a template that you think people should have or something should be a template, um, then speak to your IT team and hopefully they can make it so. This is rolling out mid-June to late August. Now something in OneNote, this is actually quite exciting for those who love the left side layout of uh, OneNote on the web, um, or OneNote for Mac, or OneNote for iPad, or even OneNote for Windows 10, which we don't speak its name, uh, you'll be actually happy to hear that Microsoft is bringing this experience to OneNote on Windows client. Um, using this new vertical tabs layout option, you'll actually be able to then use a navigation experience similar to those other Microsoft 365 apps and services such as Outlook and Teams. Now, when I say OneNote on Windows that this feature is coming to, I mean the version that comes with Office, not the OneNote for Windows 10, poorer cousin, that will be going away to, uh, very soon. And not soon enough, unfortunately. Uh, now, this uh, new layout option is available now, or at least will be soon, depending on when your version gets its updates on the desktop. Now, uh, the mail and calendar apps on Windows will be replaced with the new Outlook for Windows in September 2024. If you're not aware of what the new Outlook for Windows is, is basically a wrapper for Outlook for the web, packaged up as a replacement for Outlook, despite falling considerably short of the functionality you currently have. And if you're not familiar with the mail and calendar apps on Windows, then, well, moving on. The PDF Tools app in Teams, Office, and Outlook stores is actually heading for retirement in mid-July. The main reason for this is because the ability to create, open, and scan to PDFs is built natively into Microsoft 365 apps, um, including you know, Word, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, even OneNote. Uh, sorry, OneDrive, actually OneNote, um, but also probably because Microsoft and Adobe are buddies now um, and you can buy and use Adobe Acrobat in Teams. So we've had the opportunity or the option to uh, show presentations in Teams meetings by present, uh, pressing the present in Teams button uh, from PowerPoint for a while, but it always required that the file be stored in OneDrive or SharePoint. Well, now, good news, this new update will allow you to select a file stored locally on your hard drive. Which is great, but it'll then make you save the file to OneDrive or SharePoint first before presenting it in the meeting. So, halfway there. Uh, anyway, this is rolling out mid to late July or later if your uh, version of Microsoft 365 apps, formerly known as Office, gets updated slower. Now, you know, sometimes in Teams, it can be hard to find which group chat something is in and where in the thread of conversation it is, especially in a group chat. Uh, well, now when someone from one chat tells you that you need to look in another chat, uh, they can actually give you the link to the specific chat message they're referring to as well, like we can within channels. Now, it is important to note that the links only work for members who are already in the chat. It doesn't actually add people outside of the chat, nor can those people actually uh, be added to the chat. This is rolling out early June to end of August. And the Viva Answers feature in, or sorry, the Answers feature in Viva Engage, formerly known as Yammer, is coming to the mobile experience. However, this does require that your Viva Engage network be in native mode and that the Yammer topics have already been migrated to Viva topics. If most of that was gibberish to you, post a question in Viva Engage and someone will answer it. Uh, this is rolling out late June to early July. Also in the world of Viva is a new feature called Viva Pulse, which is an employee feedback experience that is available to use for those with a Viva Suite subscription. All five of you. Uh, it helps managers and project team leaders request and receive feedback from their teams at any time. Uh, and managers and project leads can then choose from research-based research templates 
to quickly create a pulse request and send it to select individuals or groups. Now, this is rolling out mid-June to mid-July, but only for those with the Viva Suite. And that's it for keeping in sync with Microsoft 365 this week.